Hello, hello, hello. Good night, everybody. Um, am I live? Don't look like me live, you know. I'm not live. I am? Oh, yes, I am. Backside. <laughs> oh, hi. Didn't realize that I was was wondering if the live was working or not and you all know that i'm an i'm not this phone guru as kaylan is good night everybody kaylan mommy here again and uh, i know you all have been waiting to hear from me and you know my phone has been buzzing 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 for the update on kaylan um, you know, I didn't go to the hospital today because I gave her dad a chance to visit her. You know, I tend, because the, the overbearing love that I have for Kayla and I tend to hark up the time, you know, and, 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 and not want to share it. But, you know, with the advice of a few good friends and family, you know, everybody is saying that, you know, you have to give him, you know, a chance because sometimes a visit from her father would make a difference in her recovery, you know, bringing her out to the state that she's in. So I guess I gave him today and I've decided to give him one day per week. Well, at least one day per week. <laughs> Although even though he's there, I am constantly itching and wanting to go, you know, but she's only allowed one visitor. So if I give him the day, then I can't go and see her. So I gave him today and yes, I was tormented and I kept calling his phone, you know constantly because I, I just want to know i just want to be the person there you understand i just want to be the person there um his report today was that when she he got there she smiled yes good night sammy boo he smiled she smiled and on the nurse was saying she's smiling she recognizes you um she's awake but she's not talking or anything like that yes she's awake kaylan is awake but she's not talking um you know and uh, for everybody wondering um is she there is she is she is she is she awake is she awake she's awake but she's not talking or anything like that um you know she's looking she's more her eyes are more focused as well she can actually look at you at first, her eyes would be like all over the place, not looking, not focusing. Good, <laughs> Swain said, give him two days, man. Yes, I can look into that. I'm a selfish mother, I won't lie. Especially the fact that she's in this situation. I tend to be, you know, wanting to be there to nurture her as much as possible. Um, I'll look into giving him another day. We can work that out. I might just sit in the lobby or in the, in the corridor <laughs> for the day while he visits. But, you know, I'll give him, you know, that chance. Yes, she's fo her eyes are focusing now more. She can actually look at you when you call her name. She'll look this time. She's not wandering as much all over the place. She'll look. Um, so, you know, giving thanks for the small mercies just the same. Because we are coming from a far place. She's coming from a very far place. A dormant situation where she wasn't moving or doing anything. And now she can actually look and focus her eyes on you. And, you know, blink her eyes. She can blink her eyes if you, you know. But, you know. God is good. God is good. And we have to give him thanks. I want to say... A huge, 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 huge thank you to every single person who took the time out of their busy schedule, their lives, you know, to say a word of prayer for Kaylan, to talk, you know, 
talk to God on her behalf. Because, you know, we need all the prayers we can get as much as possible. Um, the road is, you know, is, it might be long, but we can, we can do it. We can do it together. Because, you know, divided we fall, together we stand. Right? Right. So, we can do this. Prayer move mountain. Prayer can move mountains and we only need as much as a mustard seed to get it done. And I know there's a lot of persons out there with this mustard seed faith. And we all can come on one accord, call on God for Kaylin and it will happen. Um, for those who donated to her GoFundMe, who, was, who is organized by Angela Mae Kelly, I thank you very much for the, because it, it, trust me, you know, you all know, we don't have to go into details where, where finances are concerned because it's common sense. So I just want to say thank you for those donating to her cash app, which is organized by my next, my other sister, Chavel Car Clark. Um, that, um, is pound sign justice for Kaylan, the cash app, that's Kaylan's cash app. And you all have posted the account numbers over and over. Um, Angela May Kelly, you can go ahead and pin the account numbers again for those who didn't get it. And the cash app and the GoFundMe as well. So if there's anyone out there willing to donate, they can still go ahead and do so. I want to say thank you to everyone who has been donating because, you know, trust me, it's pretty costly for this healthcare thing. We, were, we weren't prepared for this because it was just suddenly, you know, just dropping our laps and we just had to just face up and deal with it. Um, you know, but God has been good. God has been good. He has been keeping me. He has been giving me the strength to do this. Yes, sometimes I just break down and especially when I want to, um, I want to take her home. I don't want to leave the hospital and leave her there. Yes, Tammy Faye, Tammy Faye's Facebook fundraiser for Kale and please, yes, someone, I see someone asking about that. Yes, Tammy Faye is doing a fundraiser on Facebook for Kale and that is authorized by me, Kaylan's mother, Venetia Buckley. So people, please don't flag that page. Please don't flag that page. All right? Support it as much as possible. Tammy Faye is a beautiful person. She has been keeping contact with me. And, you know, she's the person associated with Auntie Donna's program. So she's a clean person. She's fair and just. So please... Um, for those who are missing the updates, um, you know, for the press of time, I can't repeat every single thing, but yes, she is doing better. She's stronger. She's res more responsive. Um, she's focusing her eyes now and, you know, well, as per usual, when I enter the room or anyone, she'll open the eyes. So, you know, she's hearing, she's hearing, she's hearing and she's responding. Right, she blinks the eyes. She's not talking as yet. She's not talking as yet. But you can see that she's trying. As for the, the life support machine, yes, she did take a few breaths, but not 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 holding as yet. She's trying, right? The doctors say she's trying real hard. We can't say, you know where it will go, where it will end, um, how far the journey will take us, but we have to just keep fighting. As for the MRI, we're still waiting on Kaylan's BP to stabilize, to get that done. If there's anyone out there who knows a way to get it done in with her in this, this condition, you know, um, I, I am appealing to anyone who can reach out to Mr. Tufton or the Prime Minister who can assist to, in with us getting this MRI done as soon as possible. I would appreciate it because um, the longer we wait, you know, 
the chances of the damages are irreversible, right? Being irreversible is greater. So I don't know if there's anyone on this timeline who has a contact for these people, for the Minister of Health, Mr. Tufton, or the Prime Minister of this beautiful country, Mr. Holness, please, somebody. We need a little bit of assistance in getting this done, if it's possible. I don't know. I'm just reaching right now because, you know, as they say, a drowning man catches at a straw. And uh, I am reaching, right? So, yes, we need justice. Yes, we need justice for Kaylan. And we shall have justice, you know. We are not worried about that. God is in control. We all need to trust God and we all need to believe that he will deliver. Because, you know, people might not know, even though they don't hear me say anything about it. But yes, I did. that's one. That's my desire for, for Kaelan to, to get justice. But, you know, judgment, our judgment unto God. And all vengeance also, right, is left unto God. So we have to just trust him, trust the process, and know that he will deliver us. Our prayers will not go in vain. She's still on the ventilator. Yes, I see people asking. She's still on the ventilator. Her lungs are not strong enough as yet, so she's still on the machine. Not breathing on her own as yet. So, people prayers more than anything i guess we do want the donations because it's necessary but we do need the prayers most if you can fast fast if you can pray pray if you if you can just call our name as me said before over and over just call her name to god he's listening he's hearing he won't turn his back on us you know we just need to keep going as much as we can um you know that's it for kaylan's update you know, I'm pleased that her dad said she smiled, which means there's her conscious level is, you know, slowly coming intact. And, you know, God is good because as long as she's not going backwards, I'm happy. As long as she's not reversing or lapsing, I am happy. Right. No matter how small, small the improvement might seem to others to me, it's a win. To me, it's a great win. Right? As long as she's not deteriorating, then I am happy. The doctors have been great. They've been attentive. They've been, you know, courteous towards me as well. You know, if I call, they come. If I, if I have a question of a problem, they come. You know, so I, I do appreciate the nurses have been beautiful. Um, you know, I can't say that I've had a bitter taste so far where the health care is providing, that is being provided for her. I can't say I've had a bitter taste, right? You know, but as a mother, you want the best and I can only try to achieve that. I can only try to get that much out of um, this situation right now for her. So... Yes, God has been good, and I thank you all for the prayers, and I want you all to keep praying, and, you know, pray my strength as well, because the road is rough, and it's a long road ahead of us, because, you know, you know, slowly by slowly, as she um, gets better, you know, there are a lot more things that we'll have to do, and, and things that we'll have to put in place, a lot of changes that I'll have to make to my life to accommodate you know, caring for her, you know, so I just want you guys to pray my strength, and God bless you all, and I, I will always pray good for you, and, and hope God blesses each and every one who can hear and see me, and, you know, provide for you all as well as he provides for me, shelters you all as well as he, as he shelters us, and, you know, give, let your store baskets never go empty, Right, the same thing I wish for me, I same thing I wish for you guys. I want you guys prosperity and happiness. And this holiday season, I want everybody to be blessed. 
abundantly blessed abundantly god is a miracle working god yes darling and you know we have to just trust him believe for that miracle we have to just believe for that miracle and we shall have it we shall have it in the name of jesus we shall have victory because god is in control and he sees and he hears and he knows everything he knows what's to come and he knows what has been god knows the future he knows everything so the, all this has been written down. All this was ordained. He knows what's going to happen. And that's why I have no doubt that he'll bring her out. We have to just trust God and believe on his word. Because he's not a God to lie. He's a God of promise. Right? And he's, he keeps his promises. So we just have to just keep trusting on God. You know? In our darkest times, we have to trust God. Not in our good times only. When we are we're backs against the wall, that's the most that's the time we should trust God the most. Because that's when our faith is being tested. Sometimes God's testing our faith to see how strong we are and see how far He can bring us. And the reward is greater than the, the, the sacrifice. I can tell you that. The reward is always greater than the sacrifice. So God bless you all. And thank you, big thank you, big thank you, big hugs, big kisses for each and every one who's praying for my baby. Big hugs and big kisses for those who are donating because, you know, donations go towards health care, you know, and providing, a, a, you know, a decent, a decent um, life for her in this state that she's in right now. So, you know. Thank you, guys, and God bless you. Have a great night. Have a great night. How do I end this again? Ugh.